Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. You're watching Test the Time News. Episode 546. On Now You Know. So Elon spoke to Tesla investor Ron Barron at the Barron Investment Conference on Friday, saying that he sees a path for putting 100 gigawatts per year of solar powered AI satellites into orbit. Take a listen. Like, like we see a path to putting 100 gigawatts per year of solar powered AI satellite into orbit and, and having this be actually the lowest cost way to power and operate AI at a very large scale. For reference, the United States consumes roughly 460 gigawatts on average per year. Because the average power load in the US is 460 gigawatts. The whole country, the whole country. All electricity of all sources in the US, yes. And you're talking about 100 being added. Well, roughly a quarter of the US electricity output. And we, we, have a, we have a plan mapped out to do that. It, it gets crazy. 100 gigawatts in space would be about 22% of the US's energy consumption. And Elon says that he sees a path for deploying 100 gigawatts every year. We're going to be discussing this today on our Investor Club bonus story. So please join us on Patreon. By the way, I know that we talk about Patreon a lot and we just assume that you all know what we're talking about. Yeah, we've had a Patreon for like, what, eight years now? It's a website patreon.com slash now you know where people can support us for as little as a buck a month and get all kinds of perks as a way of us thanking you for your support so on our patreon page three times a week we post exclusive youtube videos just for our patrons and elon said it's a hard path to 100 gigawatts a year of ai in space but we know what to do so it's not like just some off the cuff remark he made i think he actually is planning to do this wow Elon also had this to say at the Barron Investment Conference about Optimus. So imagine a world where everyone has access to the best surgeons, literally everyone. Optimus will have the level of precision that is frankly superhuman and will be able to do medical procedures, very sophisticated medical procedures, any medical procedure, perhaps things that, that really humans can't even do because they're too, they're too difficult. And that will be available to anyone. You know, people often talk about eliminating poverty and providing great medical care, but they never, they never actually have a solution. And, and money doesn't solve it because there are only so many, there's a very limited number of great doctors and surgeons. They don't grow on trees, but now they, they'll get built in. So it might have gotten cut off there at the end, but Elon's point about great surgeons and doctors don't grow on trees, but they'll get built in factories. It's an incredible point that very few people can imagine, that we are stepping into a new reality where humanoid robots are about to exist in all of our lives. And that is crazy to think about that you might have this robot just washing your floors or something. And then one day you come in like, Optimus, I need you. And it just gets up and mm. performs surgery. Wow. Thanks to Vantru for sponsoring this episode. Vantru camera systems are a smart investment for any driver. Many insurance companies will actually lower your insurance rates if you have a dash cam. Vantru cameras offer high quality video evidence, enhanced safety features, and peace of mind. I love that with Vantru camera protection, you can turn your non-Tesla EV or ICE car into having a Sentry cam to keep your car safe even when it's parked. Vantru has complete 360 degree surveillance day and night. No blind spots inside or outside the car. Everything is captured simultaneously with clarity. Vantru N5S has a four channel dash cam with Starvis 2 sensors on every lens, giving you complete protection inside and out, day or night. So even when the car is off, it detects motion or impact and then starts recording automatically. It's really cool that it has a rear camera in case you rear end it. We like their app as well. It's really well designed with five gigahertz Wi-Fi and over the air firmware updates. Managing and upgrading your device is seamless. I also like that you can turn on the interior camera so you can see what's going on in the car in case you want to be an Uber or Lyft driver or you want to record your teenagers driving to the prom. Dual interior lenses mean better visibility of passengers, conversations, and luggage zones optimized for rideshare and multi-passenger vehicles. With rising road incidents, insurance fraud, and parking lot mishaps, a reliable dash cam like Vantrues can protect you legally and financially. Don't miss Vantrues Black Friday deals. Get 10% off if you use our code in links below. And thanks again to Vantrue for sponsoring this episode. 
So we've seen Tesla safety reports before where they compare Tesla's driven on autopilot with the average US driver. But now Tesla has just published their first FSD safety report that features FSD miles data. So this first chart is miles driven before a major collision. That bar in blue is 5.1 million miles driven in FSD before a major collision versus 699,000 miles driven by the average US driver before a major collision. Yeah, Tesla FSD is more than seven times safer. Not 7%, not 70%, seven times safer. Okay, but how about minor collisions like fender benders? Well, Tesla has data on that as well. This is miles driven before a minor collision. And as you can see in blue, 1.5 million miles driven on FSD before a minor collision versus 229,000 miles by the average US driver. So FSD is more than 6.5 times safer in this case. And what's cool is that you can now choose both the type of roads like highway, non-highway, and all cases, and you can choose between North America and worldwide. And I like some of these stats showing how many lives could be saved in the US if all cars used FSD. For instance, more than 32,000 lives could be saved in the US every year right now with FSD's level of safety, so not even in future. 30% of fatalities are currently caused by drunk driving, so this would be eliminated by FSD. And 44% of fatalities are people not wearing a seatbelt, which I guess would still be eliminated because you can't drive the car without your seatbelt buckled. And 29% of fatalities are caused by speeding, which technically FSD does speed sometimes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Maybe something bad. Maybe something good. And look at these stats on injuries. More than 1.9 million injuries could be avoided every year in the U.S. Yeah, 29% of collisions are caused by distracted driving. I bet that that number is actually quite higher. Yeah, I feel like these numbers are like from 2023. And I also feel like most people don't admit that they're texting while driving. Mm. So Elon posted new Grok Imagine Remix feature. So you can use Grok's new remix option to take the prompt from any video and apply it to a new image. Okay. Okay. Tesla started piloting on peak and off peak pricing based on live supercharger utilization rather than estimates. Yeah, Tesla says the average price remains unchanged, but this live feedback loop improves accuracy. Tesla also claims that on average for Tesla customers, our superchargers in Europe and North America are 30% cheaper than other fast charging options. And Tesla charging posted live pricing expanded to an additional 550 sites in California, New Jersey, New York, Florida, and Illinois. Currently, the average price remains the same peak prices are unchanged and will be paid by fewer sessions. Max Zager, Tesla's head of supercharging, posted, a live feedback loop is better than a static one. Our live pricing pilots have been successful so far, reducing congestion while increasing utilization. We see improved load balancing, especially when there are multiple supercharger sites nearby. So basically what he's talking about is up until now is all an estimate. Mm. Um, and now they're trying to use live data to actually set the pricing. And they're changing the pricing constantly to try and free up supercharging and to try and you know ease congestion. And so if there's an area Area with like three superchargers that are all relatively close, you're going to be incentivized to go to the one that's not busy. Right. All right, it's time for the Cybertruck Roundup. Yeah! The Cybertruck Roundup. So you want to see a Cybertruck driving through downtown Prague in the Czech Republic on FSD? Well, Cybertruck.eu teamed up with Robot IRL and filmed their drive on FSD version 14.1.7. Oh, one yeah. coming utility vehicle oh here. we can't fit here. We can't possibly fit in here, right? It's brushing the... Did oh. we just fit in there? <laughs> we just fit in between the curb. Okay. Okay. Oops. That's okay. crazy. You have It's very nice. Now, to be clear, full self-driving has not been programmed for European roads yet, so they were freestyling it. Uh, no navigation, just letting FSD drive where it wants. It's like if you took an American who had never been to Europe before and then dropped them into Prague without a map and told them to drive a cyber truck around the city. It did incredibly well, and I urge you to watch the video because this is the future. I mean, Europe, this is coming. It really just reminded me of driving our cyber truck around Beacon Hill in Boston, mm. like, you know, these kind of cow path roads. It's just funny to see how Europeans think that this truck is so big. But I feel like you guys have trucks that drive through your city all the time. It's true. Yeah, it's not much bigger than a Ford F-150. And I know that that's not saying much because a Ford F-150 is pretty big. It's crazy, though, that they basically that they just sneak a cyber truck into Europe. <laughs> I don't know. All right, time for some SpaceX news. And actually, this 
could be called Blue Origin news because Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos's rocket company, finally did it. They had a successful launch on Thursday and successfully relanded the booster. And Elon said, congratulations. I just want to point out Blue Origin could also be called SpaceX Lite because most of their employees now came from SpaceX. Well, and it, you know, it only took them 10 years. Yeah. SpaceX did it 10 years ago. Yeah. That's insane. All right, drum roll, please. Grok has picked a winner for our eighth Patreon giveaway of the Tesla Bot action figure. Congratulations to Andres Ritzman. You are gonna be getting the Tesla Bot. Let's do it again, shall we? All right, uh, let's start our ninth Patreon giveaway right now. I have a prize. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger. Whoa. <laughs> What's in it? What's in the box? What's in the box? You know what? Our patrons will find out first. The giveaway is live right now on Patreon at patreon.com slash now you know. Join us for as little as a buck a month and get all of our Patreon bonus stories three times a week. And you can enter for your chance to win in all of our upcoming Patreon giveaways. And we've got a lot more stuff to give away. See you on Patreon bonus stories right now. All right, we're back from a Patreon bonus story. It's time for the shout outs. This is another perk we have for people that give uh, $5 or more a month. That keeps the lights on. Who do we got today? Albert and Yvonne. Chuck Hoffeller. Hayden Spall. Kevin Hawley. And Xiaofeng Young Baofox. Thank you so much for supporting us. We can't do this show without your help. All right, it's time for Elon's X's of the week. Elon said, when Grokopedia is good enough, long way to go, we will change the name to Encyclopedia Galactica. It will be an open source distillation of all knowledge, including audio, images, and video. Join XAI to help build the sci-fi version of the Library of Alexandria. He said copies will be etched in stone and sent to the moon, Mars, and beyond. This time, it will not be lost. John Rausch says you should change it to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, just saying. And Elon said, hmm, maybe we should. S.E. Robinson Jr. said, do Asimov proud and keep it named Encyclopedia Galactica. Elon said, Adams and Asimov are both inspirations of mine. Such awesome humans. I feel like they should have two versions. They should have the Encyclopedia Galactica and then the, and the then, Hitchhiker's Guide. Because that one's slightly cheaper. Yes. And it has the words, don't panic, written <laughs> it on the just front. Be full of humor. Elon says you can now do audio and video calls with X Chat. I just did one the other day. It was amazing quality. Elon said X just rolled out an entire new communication stack with encrypted messages, audio and video calls, and file transfer. X money comes out soon. Join us if you want to build cool products. X will be the everything app. Elon says you can also send files via the new encrypted X Chat. Elon then posted, what are we holding on to, Sam? That there's some good in this world, Mr. Frodo, and that it's worth fighting for. And I think that this has... Uh, Less to do about Lord of the Rings and more to do about the country of England. This article, Musk's AI raises 15 billion in latest funding round, is false, according to Elon Musk. <laughs> Jesse Pelton says China is the majority of electricity growth on Earth. Three quarters of new supply is solar. That's the case globally in China, in the US, basically everywhere. Elon said solar electricity will become by far the biggest source of power for civilization. Siobhan Zilla says eldest son as excitedly as I've ever heard him. Hey, hey, did you know my dad invented the car fart? And Elon said... <laughs> Fire. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Holmar's catalog says, I've been waiting for this day for the last six years. The San Francisco Superior Court has just granted Tesla's anti-slap motion against my failed Tesla short seller cyber stalker, Aaron Jacob Greenspan. This means that the court found his lawsuit was an illegal attempt to stifle free speech. With this anti-slap motion, the relevant counts will be struck from the record and my cyber stalker is ordered to pay off all of Tesla's attorney's fees associated with defending against this matter and Tesla's lawyers aren't cheap. Elon says, I try not to start fights, but I always finish them. And congratulations. Congratulations, whole Mars catalog. I hope that uh, your case goes well as well. Zero Hedge says judge denies Apple open AI bid to dismiss Elon Musk's antitrust lawsuit. Mario Nafal said Apple boosted ChatGPT, hid Grok. Now they're getting sued. A judge just told Apple and open AI that they can't wiggle out of Elon's lawsuit that says that they're basically cheating. And Elon said, Welcome to the job. Elon said it's mind blowing how much money is being spent on AI compute so fast, but still many orders of magnitude to go. All right, it's time for some new superchargers. What do we got today? We have number 169 in South Korea is the fourth stall in Sokcho Si, South Korea. The 39 stall version four in West Palm Beach, Florida. Number 83 in Washington is the eight stall version four in Sammamish, Washington. Number 95 in Virginia, the 12 stall in Franconia, Virginia. Number 60 in Arizona is the 16 stall in Gilbert, Arizona. Number 211 in Florida, the 20 stall in Orlando. The six stall version four in Tully, 
Queensland, Australia. Number 92 in Spain, the 16 stall in Salt, Spain. Number 41 in Michigan is the 12 stall version 4 in Monroe, Michigan. Number 61 in Massachusetts, the 16 stall in Medford. Number 139 in Australia is the 6 stall in Mansfield, Victoria, Australia. Number 160 in Norway, the 28 stall in Sleppenden, Norway. Number 2461 in China is the 3 stall in Xi'an, China. Number 10 in the Czech Republic, so now that Cybertruck in charge there, is the 8 stall in Olomouc, Czech Republic. Number 236 in France is the 6 stall in Tor, France. Number 72 in Illinois, the 12 stall in Downers Grove. Number 104 in Pennsylvania, the 12 stall version 4 in Shrewsbury, Pennsylvania. Number 297 in Germany, the 8 stall version 4 in Magdeburg, Germany. And number 200 in Texas, number 2882 in the United States, and number 7923 in the world is the 24 stall in Houston, Texas. Ooh, we are getting very, very close. The 200 club, huh? Yes. Yeah, so you guys are probably still wondering what's in the box, huh? I wonder if you like zoom in if you could read any of this. Well, it doesn't matter if you don't go over to Patreon because you're not winning it if you're not a Patreon supporter. So we'll see you guys over on Patreon. Now you know.